can tell y'all is that she is going to receive papers from me. to know me then to see it again she's very lucky that people do reaction channels because if people didn't do reaction channels for her she would be a total disaster to do this part in voiceover first of all because it appears Ms. Hussey hates the way I talk way to poke fun at my speech impediment dude straight talking back lady okay she always got a cigarette in her mouth I could hardly understand what she's saying anyway I digress okay yes um, here in Canada, these kind of lawsuits are near impossible, 
unless one is a millionaire or a politician or a political operative or a CEO. And it usually, the object of the suits, the respondents, usually involve bloggers, commentators, journalists. Uh, but other than that, over a social media spat, odds are here in Canada, okay, a, a judge's clerk is not going to put that on their on the docket. Okay, it'll be laughed out for the most part. And I'm going to speak of my own personal experience with this over a decade ago. So anyone listening and thinking about suing Canadians on social media, you might want to do well to learn this little lesson. Uh, over 10 years ago, I was a political blogger, did political commentary. Now, I dropped a comment at somebody else's website regarding a former senior political operative, somebody from former Prime Minister Chrétien's a war room okay I'm not going to leave his name because he kind of reminds me of that Beetlejuice thing if I say his name he'll probably appear in my comment section below this video yes this is a man who appears to Google himself because where I dropped my comment was on an obscure website uh, hosted out of uh, Western Canada somewhere out on the West Coast and he had to have Googled himself to have found the comment. Anyways, it was I was careful anyways at the time to use speculative language. Uh, there was nothing matter of fact about the language I used anyway, because I was extra careful. Nonetheless, New Year's Eve 2011. Yeah, I get an email with the subject header privilege from this former operative. And he had told me that he wanted me to retract my comment from my friend's website and on my own website to uh, po publish a retraction and an apology to him. Now, as an act of good faith, and I was scared and panicking at the time because I didn't know anything, um, I asked my friend to remove the comment. But a friend of mine who had experience with this uh, had told me, don't publish or post the apology or the retraction. He's bluffing. And send him an email explaining that you, that I did this act of good faith, had the comment deleted, had it sponged, and you, and that I needed more time for after the holidays for me to consult with a lawyer. Nonetheless, he still threatened fine by email. I did have time. I did talk to a lawyer. Yes, it helps to be friendly with legal secretaries. Anyways, uh, the lawyer had told me that such lawsuits were impossible here in Canada, you know, unless you were of the caliber of this operative even. Although in this case, this operative didn't have any case. Didn't have any case, she told me. And she told me that unlike the United States, there are no Canadian lawyers that practice this kind of litigation. Uh, in her words, she said, we'd starve. And she gave a chuckle. Yes, listen. She said, we'd starve. Let's remember a few, what was it, a year or two ago when Frank Tufano, another New York YouTuber who promoted only eating meat, he had threatened to sue Canadian vegan YouTuber, Vegan Gates. Uh, he didn't go anywhere either. Frankie Tufano went crying on his website about uh, begging his viewers to pay for to hire a Canadian lawyer to go after vegan games. Nothing happened. Why? Because this is how our laws are set up. So if uh, as for you, Chantel, Booty Beauty, if you're listening to this, you really don't have much to worry about. And the only exceptions to this that I have seen is. You have to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that the person who supposedly defamed you or slandered you or committed libel is that they affected, they hampered your ability, your future ability to earn a living. For instance, if you're accused of exploiting children, 
and there's no proof out there that you exploited children, then yeah, a judge would probably would entertain it if and only if you can prove it'll affect not only that that was said, but it will affect and impede you from earning a living. Okay, that's that's all for this segment. <laughs> She didn't, she didn't cross the line. <laughs> 